jump on wing for my queen. You gon' wait me till Jesus come. Quiet when I talk. Pocket full flows. Money, honey. Forget about Suzanne. So since we don't have all the equipment like you know cameras and all this stuff, so just use one of the uh, webcam from my, my my computer. So we're gonna start with these tools and give people knowledge because that's how they say you know start with what you have, what you have. and then from there you're gonna add a battery, you know you're gonna add a battery and things gonna propagate it and you know excuse me and things gonna improve slowly you know because you can't reach down top before start from the bottom otherwise then you're gonna break and start from but I'm afraid so we want to start I'm gonna start with the tool that I have you know right so uh, we have a question they see uh, determine dy dx and simplify if it's possible so uh, this is derivative so um, this table is very very important right here so whenever you have a whenever you differentiate x sign when you say x sign and sign inverse is the same thing that's what you got you get you derivate this function and then you write the answer on top and after that you say one minus the given function means minus given function same with uh, if you uh, if they ask you to derivate uh, inverse of the cos when they say inverse and arc whatever you have it's the same thing for example if somebody give you uh, let's say d dx arc uh, let's say uh, cos let's start with sign excuse me let's start with sign I want to give something that's very simple sign arc sine and sine inverse is the same thing if somebody say arc sine and somebody say uh, sine inverse or whatever function they have let's say a uh, function Excuse me, a, give, give me a set of five. Move right here, man. Okay, arc sine, arc sine of, uh, let's see, uh, ln of uh, x squared. They ask you to derivate this. This is very simple because according to the formula, we never have a, a sine in this or arc sine. You find the derivative in the right on top and then you over the same thing. So, what I'm going to do here, I also have to derivate whatever it is. Like, say, derivate. Whatever you have here in front of sine, in front of x sine, which is ln of x squared, you over, you over what? Square root of 1 minus, you minus what? Function square. What is a function? This is function here, the one in front of x sine, which is ln x squared. So we, we square this. So what is the next step? Means you derivate that one. So we know we'll never derivate ln, like if somebody say derivate. Uh, x squared, like how we given. What you do, derivate whatever you have here, x squared, which is going to give us 2x, and then you over exactly the function you have, which is x squared, and then you can simplify by x1, by x1, equal 2 over x. That's how you derivate what? Long. Just like if somebody give you derivate uh, e3x. So, so what you do, derivate whatever is here, this is for exponential, and then write the answer the back. So when you derivate 3x, you get three and then you write exactly given function which is e three x but for our case now is ln of x so if it's ln of x what we're going to get two over x two over x excuse me so we're going to get two over x so when you derivate all the stuff right there we get uh two over x and then you say over square root of one when you square the this same say uh ln of x square square do not multiply that out like saying ln of for when you square this, you don't get ln of 16. No, it's not true. So this is not equal to ln of 16. It's not equal. But this ln of 4 equal to ln of 4. And then you can write what? Square. If you want to simplify, you can just say ln of 4 times ln of 4. But it's not ln of 16. It's not. That's what it's not equal. So now going back to equation, uh, how did it say there? You see, excuse me. So when you go back to equation, when you hear what we do, you take all of this to the denominator. Whenever you have a fraction, let's say three over a divided by five, you always take this to the denominator. So same thing, three over a times five, half a. If only when you have a fraction over number, fraction over number. See, this is the whole fraction over number. But if you have a number, let's say k over fraction, let's say b over c. See, this is a fraction. This denominator goes to the top. So the same is a k c over b. So our case we have a fraction over group of number. So all this group is gonna come here the denominator. So we're gonna say so for our case we're gonna say this is gonna be two x times all these denominators is gonna go to the bottom. 
So one minus log of x, and then all this stuff will square. So when you derivate x sine, excuse me, when you derivate x sine, excuse me, that's what we're gonna get, which is two means when you derivate all these, that's what you're gonna get. So now, <coughs> excuse me, so this table is very, very important because if you don't know this table, then uh, means you cannot solve none of this equation. So now let's go back to our main causal equation. So main causal equation, how did I say? So I'm going to raise this part because it's not part of the equation. So I'm going to raise it. Now we go back to the equation. So the equation say, uh, y equal to x sine, whatever you have, means this first group is 1. So you're going to have to work it out and then go for the next one. So uh, first and foremost, before you do this question, I expect you know product rule. If you don't know product rule, uh, go back to my previous video and then you can learn from it. So now let's go. So now we're going to say product rule and power rule is very, very important. So now for this case here, uh, I'm going to say now, let's differentiate. So this is arc sign. So arc sign means whenever I have an arc sign of a function, means this all which is in front of the sign is function, which is this function here, means all of this is function. So I'm going to say, take this, differentiate, and write to the top. So I'm going to say, when you differentiate here, excuse me, I'll say, differentiate on the left, which is y, and then also differentiate with respect to x. What is the respect to x? Because if things in x, x. If it was m, we say d dm. So we d dx of y and the d dx of all of this, the one on the left. So arc sine, arc sine, and then we got root of 1 minus x squared. This is the first group, and then we derivate also the second group, which is x times square root of 1 minus x minus x squared. So there we go. So what I'm going to do, see, this is arc sine. So whenever we differentiate arc sine, what we do? Or oh, all of these differentiate, right, the uh, derivative on top. So I'm going to derivate this and write on top. So this is same, say, when you derivate y, I'm going to get dy, dy over. When you derivate, uh, this is just dx. It doesn't have any derivative. So we say, uh, so it's going to be dy over dx equal. Now we're going to start here. So we know whenever we derivate arc sine, Arc sine derivate any function and write the answer on top. So we're going to derivate all this function which is in front of it. Arc sine. So same me say d dx of everything which is in front of it. Sine which is 1 minus minus x squared. And then we have what? We have a root. And then we over 1 minus. We still have a root here. Don't forget your root. Square root of 1 minus f f of x squared. f of x means this is the one given. So which is 1 minus x squared root but what we do we square this and then you're going to say minus now we come here so this is a product rule so uh derivative product rule means you have a first group of a function multiplied by the second group so what we do i'm going to put the first one constant and then i'm going to derivate i'm going to differentiate the second one so i'm going to differentiate the second one so for now i'll tell them like i'm going to differentiate so when you tell them d dx means oh differentiate so we're going to do that process next uh next step and then let me put the big bracket to say, okay, I'm going to do a certain uh, process here. So this is constant, and they differentiate this. But for product, what we say, we say you have to plus. So now switch the, uh, reverse the process. So now this is going to be constant now. This is going to be constant now for this case. 1 minus x squared. And then now we're going to derivate. We're going to derivate to x. Right, so that's a product rule. Okay, so now let's start on the left hand side and then go to the, I mean, let's start here and then we go to the, so now we say dy dx, dy dx equal, when you derivate this, so uh, let me, let me take it aside. So if somebody give you derivate, okay, so now let's derivate, it's, it's very simple, man. So if it's me, you know what I'll take? I'll take this one aside. So let's take it aside. So say tag d dx and let's derivate. So before I derivate, for the most case, I like to put it as a power, power form. So because it's a power of differentiation so power i can apply power so one minus x square but a uh, root meaning power so if i remove this root i put power so now this let me say i'll take power to the back one over two power to the back of the uh back of the bracket and then i'll drop the way how it is without without this power so one minus x square and i'll take power minus one a half minus one negative half in the next step you see the one that you drop you differentiate then. So when you differentiate one, you get zero. When you differentiate negative x squared, these two come back, it's gonna give me negative two. And then x, two minus one equal to one. So all this group here is gonna give me uh, negative two x, and this is power negative. So reciprocate 
a right and I have a two at the denominator. So all this stuff, I'll take it at the denominator. So it's going to be 1 minus x uh, squared power a half. That's what I'm going to have because this is going to be to the top and all this stuff is going to come at the denominator. 2 and 2 cancel. So all this group give me negative x and then this is uh, power half so I can see root to 1 minus x squared all this group. So this is for that one right there. If I count for the denominator, which is just not, not differentiated, you just say normal simplification. So I got root 1, but when I square this like this, 2 and 2, this root and root cancel. So 1 minus 1 x square, and this is going to be equal to root 1 minus 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 1. Plug it in, it's going to be plus x square. This and this go, so I'm going to have a square root of x equal to x square, which equal to x. So I'm saying equal to x. Now we go. So this half here gonna go there and this is gonna go to the top. So also I can go for that one as well because I want to simplify and when I come back, I plug it in here. Let's say call this is the style equation or question number one. So now I go also let me tag d derivative of one minus x square. So I'm gonna say the same say one minus x square power half, and then I tag this to the back of the bracket so 1 over 2 and I'm left with 1 x square means I'll drop the way how it is and then half minus 1 negative a half negative a half and then I'm gonna differentiate the one I drop the way how it is so when you differentiate 1 and get 0 when you differentiate negative x square mean these two come here is gonna be negative 2 and then x is the x 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so no need to write because x power 1 is x right so now we say this same as say uh, negative two x, and then you see this is, has power negative x. So I'll bring it to the bottom. So at the bottom I have a two, and I have to reciprocate this because I have a negative power. So it's going to become one minus x squared, and this power is going to become positive. So now two and two cancel. So negative x, and then I'm going to have a one minus x square root. Okay. So also this one I know. Let's go for the last one. So for the last one, if somebody give you d derivative of x equal to 1 always. So what we can do now, plug in back. So plug in all those values back. So now this half here is going to be dy dx equal dy dx equal to, uh, I'm going to have to raise this part here, right? Because I know the values. So I'm going to raise this part and plug it in of up. So, no, I, I think I can plug it in here. The play space is going to be enough. Let's try to make it plain here. So, say dy dx, dy dx. I'm looking for equal to this value. We know what is this value? Negative x over 1 square root of x squared. So, negative x over 1 minus x squared. Now we go right. So, what about this one? This will give us x. So, all this stuff here over x so now we minus we got x there x when you square root this what we got uh, when you square root this one we got negative x so we multiply by negative x and then we got square root of 1 minus x x square and then now we go with plus so we plus root 1 minus x squared, but when you differentiate this, you get 1 times 1. So the question is finished. So what we can do now is just to put everything together, try to put everything together. Excuse me, put everything together. So this is going to become, it's going to become equal to, this is going to go to the denominator. So it's going to go to the denominator, means it's going to be negative x over x square root of 1 minus x square. So this and this go. So this and we say negative 1, 1 minus x square. So this half here is going to go in there. So we say, right. So now this term is going to become uh, negative 1 over 1 minus x square. And then we minus. This is going to become negative negative x square 1 minus x square plus 1 minus x square. So now then we can 
find the common denominator. If this is common for all, so this is same denominator, same denominator. So this doesn't have the same denominator here. I'll just multiply up and down. It's like having uh, uh, a over two plus b over two plus c. So I'm gonna solve it up. So I'll say since it doesn't have means I can put over one. Since it doesn't have the same denominator, so I'll multiply by two and two, so I can have the same denominator. And remember, it doesn't have an effect because two and two divided equal to one. So I can say two over two. It did not make any changes. So now the denominator always gonna be the same. A over two plus b over 2 plus c over 2 and then I can write all this stuff in one denominator which is 2 a plus b plus c so for that case now I'm gonna multiply this by square root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus x let's go so now this is gonna become when you multiply by square root of 1 minus x 1 minus x the face is gonna become negative 1 because the denominator is gonna be the same for all of them so it's gonna become 1 minus x square and then root and this is going to become just negative 1 plus x square and for the last one because you're going to multiply up and down so this is going to become if you have a root of a y times root of y equal to y so when you multiply by 1 minus x square the same thing is going to give us we have a plus here and it's going to give us 1 plus x square right so then we're going to say outer space is finished so so we're going to say this negative x plus x plus 1 plus x squared right so we get here so another thing just a little mistake i put see here this when you put in here this is going to be negative and you multiply that out this also is going to be negative it's not positive it's negative so for that case even here is negative so for that case even this one is negative so negative 1 minus 1 equal to negative 2 so this is same as a negative 2 negative 2 and now we go for this one this is going to be positive x square positive x square positive x square even this one here is negative my positive because when you when you multiply by the same thing you say this multiply by this like 1 minus x square times 1 minus x minus what times times 1 what x square what happened this let me say 1 minus x square so this must be minus so this must be minus so now we say so when you multiply that out this is going to be negative 1 and negative 1 negative 2 so we're going to have negative 2 okay plus x square and plus x square plus 2x square and then we have a 1 minus x square that's what we got so now in the matter of simplification the question is finished now we're going to say this and same as say i can take negative 2 out i want to be left with negative 1 plus x square positive 1 x square and the denominator if i take negative 2 it's going to be positive 1 minus here minus x square and here the denominator i'm going to have the square root of 1 minus x square so the question is finished. How the question is going to get finished? We say, the question is finished. How are we going to get finished with the question? So that's what we got. So we say, this is the same as say, look here, man. This is the same as this one, but this has a root. But uh, I can even finish this question. Say, this is equal to negative 2, 1 minus x squared. And this I can put as a half. So say, 1 minus x squared. But uh, when you say root, means power half. Power half. But we know mathematical. We know mathematical. If I have, let's say, uh, a power one over a power half, what I'm doing? I'm gonna say the base are the same, so I'll write only one base. Take the top number minus the bottom because the base are the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write only one, and then take the top power, which is one, minus the denominator power, which is gonna give me equal to um, a half. So same here. Since these bases are the same, one minus x square, and this is one minus x square. Uh, this is power one this is power half so what i'm going to write here i'm say this equal to two so i'm going to write the same base which is which equal to one minus x square one minus x square so take the top power man at the bottom one minus a half we get a half so the question is finished and that's how you do if i want to write further i can say all right so this let me say uh, this is equal to 2 
and then root 1 minus x squared. 1 minus x squared. So that's how you do this question, man. It's the first time I'm trying to try to share with a lot of people. And peace and love. I forgot something here, man. There's a negative, negative, and negative. Thanks a lot, man. Peace and love, man. It's the first time I'm trying to try to share with a lot of people, man. Peace. Peace and love.